This video describes a two-stage retort designed to turn readily available and free wood chips into charcoal. Among charcoal's many uses are cooking fuel, teeth whitener, poison antidote, water filter, odor control, gasifier engine fuel, garden soil amendment, and a means of sequestering carbon in the earth to offset greenhouse gas emissions. The primary retort at the bottom is a repurposed oil-fired hot water tank. And we're using the original firebox, as you can see here, to heat uh, the raw biomass and initiate the pyrolysis reaction. Both retort chambers, the bottom one and uh, the top one, have a pipe outlet. So you see the pipe here and the pipe here. Uh, the purpose of this outlet is to allow the moisture to be driven off of the raw biomass. Even air, good air dried wood still has 15 to 20 percent moisture and so we need to let the moisture escape through those pipes. Once we can ignite the wood gas coming out of the pipe, uh, we insert uh, the cap and that forces the wood gas down into the combustion chamber through a series of holes in the bottom of the re bottom retort chamber and that sustains the reaction. Uh, similarly, uh, when the top retort has driven off all of its steam and the wood gas can be ignited at this outlet, we will plug that outlet and that will force the gases down to the bottom of the stainless steel uh, retort inside of this outer drum. Uh, where there are five outlets that will allow the wood gas uh, to burn and pass up alongside uh, the retort inside of the outer drum and heat the secondary chamber. On the outside of the bottom chamber is a mixture of uh, volcanic perlite, which is, has a high insulation value, mixed with cement and lime. And the insulation seems to be working well. Uh, you can see uh, the internal temperature of the retort is 1123 degrees, and it is maybe 80 or 90 degrees outside, quite cool to the touch. Uh, the upper retort rests inside a metal shell of a 30 gallon drum uh, which serves as a chimney uh, that surrounds the secondary retort with the hot exhaust gases from both the primary and secondary reactions. There are also secondary air holes, perhaps you can see them here, uh, that allow oxygen to enter uh, the flue gas stream and cause cleaner combustion so there's less smoke escaping from uh, the top of the retort. Uh, the lower retort is filled uh, through this 4 inch uh, pipe nipple with a 4 inch pipe cap and then the finished charcoal will be removed uh, from this which is a, a cast iron uh, barrel stove flange covered with a cast iron uh, stove disc. On the side of the startup firebox is a pipe that is slanted slightly downward into the combustion chamber. On that we place a blow dryer through a silicon hose which uh, swirls and causes uh, turbulence and adds air to the primary combustion to get the pyrolysis reaction initiated in 15 or 20 minutes instead of waiting for hours. It works quite well.